Drink Whiskey, Miller here. Happy holidays from us to you. Uh, thank you for bearing with us while we uh, tried to, to get the equipment just right to get this video cranked out. It's one we've been really looking forward to uh, this holiday season. Wanted to get it out in time so that if you had any last minute gift grabbing to do, uh, you had some inspiration. So this is really a companion to last year's episode on gift whiskey. Now, in that episode, we ran through a lot of the the kind of whiskeys out there that make good gifts. Uh, you know, whether it was a pretty bottle or, uh, you know, good bang for your buck, um, affordable, findable. So this episode is geared more towards those folks for maybe whom the, the concept of buying somebody a bottle of whiskey is a little daunting. Maybe it's not what they want to do. Um, and maybe they'd rather give a, a gadget. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about whiskey, gadgets, and gizmos um, to kind of bolster your holiday shopping list for those friends, loved ones, coworkers, and colleagues. Um, got a, kind of a smorgasbord of things assembled here. I know a lot of the table's below the camera angle, but it's, it's full of things. Uh, so we, we've got kind of three basic categories. Uh, we've got things to cool down your whiskey. Uh, we've got things to drink your whiskey in or contain your whiskey. And then we've got ways of flavoring your whiskey. Um, and then kind of one that doesn't fit into any of those. But we'll, uh, we'll run down the line of gifts and gadgets that you can get a whiskey lover. And they will absolutely love them. Uh, we'll start with cooling. Um, I live in Florida. Um, it's actually nice right now, but for a good portion of the year, it is hot. Um, and what goes good with hot weather? That's right, high proof bourbon. Not. Um, I, I love bourbon, but man, it's rough in the summertime to, to sit out on the back porch sipping, uh, you know, something like a, a Knob Creek or a Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or something that's really up there thick and rich. It just, it just doesn't work because I drink my stuff neat. Now, let's say you want to make it a little more palatable. Let's say you want to be fancy at a party. What do you need? An ice ball. Amazon to the rescue with this ice ball mold. Uh, four, uh, four slots makes four balls. A uh, nice hard plastic base, uh, silicone top. You clamp the lid down nice and tight. It seals. You fill up each of these with water. It comes in a little funnel. Throw it in the freezer, preferably flat. Um, and then in a couple of hours, you have four ice balls. You just pull it apart and click, click, click. There they go. Um, in terms of breaking the bank, this runs you about nine bucks on Amazon. Um, super cool to, uh, as a stocking stuffer or white elephant gift for a whiskey guy, whiskey guy or gal, uh, just throw it in there and uh, Bob's your uncle. So next on the Magical Mystery Tour, is uh, this cool invention by uh, Corksicle. Corksicle, for those of you who don't know, started out in the wine space as a way to chill down wine without watering it down because you don't put ice in wine, apparently. Uh, so they created this thing, it's this cylinder, and you can freeze it, and it goes down in the wine, and it takes the place of the cork, and it chills it. Um, hence, you know, it's a, it's a cork icicle, hence the name. Pretty cool. Well, they actually did something for us whiskey lovers out there. Um, this is, uh, I don't know what they actually call it, uh, but this is, I think the wedge, maybe, um, corksicle product, nice, thick, bottom, heavy, uh, double old fashioned glass with this silicone mold that pops down in here. You fill this bad boy up with water and I think you can see this nicely. It creates this ice wedge once it freezes. Now what this is perfect for is once you pop that mold off, pour your whiskey in there. You can actually sip it down that wedge. It's gonna cool your whiskey just like ice, but because of that geometry and science behind it, and I was a business major, I'm not gonna pretend to know any of that. It's gonna cool your whiskey without watering it down too much, like if you just have ice cubes floating in there. Now it will eventually melt, of course, because it's ice. Uh, but in the meantime, you're gonna get a nice cooling, uh, a nice chilled whiskey uh, without being watered down. Um, I tested it because where I noticed uh, the water impacting my flavors, especially with higher proof stuff, Elijah Craig, um, the barrel proof, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof, uh, things like that, where it takes that nice, thick, rich, dark sweetness and completely turns into like a, just a woody football leather taste. 
um, with this, you know, poured, uh, poured two fingers in there and could sip it for, you know, I sipped on it probably about 20, 30 minutes. Um, just as cool as ever, just as flavorful as ever without being watered down. And that was uh, kind of my stamp of approval was that, wow, I can drink a barrel proof out of this without it getting screwed up. Um, so good job, Corksicle. This runs about $25.99 on the Amazon. Uh, check it out. Now let's say you're absolutely against ice, uh, but you want your drink on the rocks. That's a bad pun and you'll see why in a second. Uh, you've probably seen it over in that on the interwebs, and that is Whiskey Stones. Um, they are literally just uh, like cubes of uh, granite, I believe. Um, you throw them in the freezer, let them get nice and cold. Uh, then when it comes time to do your drinking, you pull them out, throw them in your glass. Um, here, we'll, we'll do that. Now you gotta be careful because you are literally throwing chunks of rock into a glass. So unless you want to bust out the bottom of your glass and ruin a party, um, go easy with them going in there. Now we'll say that the science is different. These are not going to melt and cool uh, your, your whiskey like ice does. One, because that'd be freaking terrifying if your actual literal stones melted in your glass of whiskey. Do not drink that. Um, what they are going to do is they are going to absorb the heat from the whiskey. So it's going to be a different cooling uh, not as rapid of a cooling, but it is going to chill it down. So what I like to do is throw about three stones in there that have been sitting in the freezer for a good long while, uh, swirl it around, shoot the shit a little bit, um, and then by the time you're ready to take that first sip, mm, not ice cold, but it's damn near perfect. Super cool. You can find a set of those for like 15 bucks uh, for like six six or eight. Um, you can also find some really cool sets that include some, you know, old fashioned glasses and a nice wooden box and things like that. So just kind of cruise all over the internet. You'll be sure to find those. Now we'll jump right on to things to drink whiskey in, uh, because I, uh, prematurely jumped there anyway, because it was the empty glass. A go-to gift for every whiskey drinker is either a glass or a decanter of some sort. Um, I have been fortunate enough to be gifted several really, really awesome decanters. Uh, the one that I've got down here with me, uh, which is going to play into another thing on down the road, is one made by a company called Benshot, B-E-N-S-H-O-T. Um, get it? Because it's got a bullet in the side. Um, this is a veteran-owned company. Um, they are hand-blown glass. Uh, this was actually made for Nine Line Apparel, another veteran-owned company. Um, their cool thing is they'll take a lead-free, um, this is a, a 50 caliber round, copper jacketed, and as they're blowing the glass, they just shove that bad boy in there. So it's really cool, nice little conversation piece. Uh, looks cool setting up on a bar. There's decanters that look like everything though. I've got one that's got a, uh, the bottom is a mountain range, super cool. I've got one that is a globe, it's a sphere in a globe stand, and inside is this neat little glass uh, like sailing ship, um, also super cool. Um, and they usually all come with some sort of glassware to go with it. So this is the Ben Shot uh, rocks glass um, with a smaller bullet there in it. Um, also hand blown, same company. Uh, the decanter will run you about 50, 55 bucks. Uh, a set of glasses, this is one of a set of two, will be about 35. Um, and again, you are supporting a small veteran owned business and it's super cool. Um, I really love these. I actually love all my decanter sets. They're, they're super neat. So that's that's definitely a good way to go. You can go super ritzy with your decanters and nice and crystally. You can go kind of um, not on the low end, but, but kind of a more uh, a plain rustic looking decanter. You can get them engraved, blah, blah, blah. The sky's the limit with them. They're, they're all over the place. So you, you know what your people like in, in terms of style. Um, I'm just putting the bug in your ear that decanters and glasses are out there for the gifting. Now, another thing, especially uh, if you know somebody who's a big fan of cigars, uh, this is another Corksicle product, and it is their uh, cigar sipping glass. It's the same chunky double old fashioned glass, except it's got this nice little cutout that'll fit a stove right in there. Uh, so you can pour you two fingers or whatever you want to drink while you smoke a cigar, and uh, you can rock that bad boy with one hand. Um, and uh, super neat product. 
and it does just kind of sit in there. Obviously with a bigger, uh, a fatter cigar, you kind of need to wedge it in there pretty well, but uh, with uh, something a little smaller like the one I've got there, works perfectly. Uh, same as the cork, as the wedge, uh, about $25.99 uh, on Amazon. Also recommend it. It's, a, it's actually just a really nice glass in general, nice heavy base, um, you know, square. You're not gonna have to worry about it knocking over anything like that. Now I'm a sucker for novelty stuff. Um, I, it doesn't necessarily make me a tater, I don't think, but uh, it's pretty close. So this one was one I saw in that targeted marking on Instagram. Um, this is an insulated, it's a vacuum insulated uh, tumbler uh, by Orca Coolers. They're a contemporary of Yeti. Um, so it's that same insulated metal, but it is, if you notice, in the shape of a barrel. And it's got this nice kind of barrel stave printing. You got the, where the bands would be or the hoops, you've got this kind of rubberized, kind of grippy material. You got your screw on, O-ring lid, uh, so you can throw your whiskey in there, throw some whiskey stones in there. Um, you know, it's gonna cool down, and it's gonna stay cool for like 18 years. You got a nice kind of grown up sippy cup lid here. So let's say you take this tailgating to the campground, whatever, um, things get a little rowdy and it gets knocked over. No problem, because it ain't going nowhere, because you got that lid on there tight, because you're a responsible adult. Um, this was about $35 hairs, I believe, um, but I highly recommend it. Obviously, you don't have to put whiskey in here. You can put whatever in here that you want. Um, I will say that these things, um, whoever you get them from, Yeti, Orca, um, Arctic, uh, if you put like coffee in here, it keeps your coffee hot as shit for way too long <laughs> for, for my liking. Uh, but they do exactly what they're supposed to. So uh, super neat product, highly recommend it as well. So we've cooled it, we've contained it. Now let's give it a little bit of flavor. What's that? Giving whiskey flavor? It already has flavor. Well, yes, but um, this is kind of a, this is caught on. Commercially, it's been done for a while. Um, it's what Maker's Mark does essentially, and that is they take their mature Maker's Mark bourbon, they throw some finished, you know, toasted wood staves in there, they let it ruminate a little bit, bottle it, it's Maker's 46. Um, if a group picks a couple of different stave profiles, then it's a Maker's Private Select. Um, wood gives whiskey flavor. Um, more recently and kind of closer in line to what this actually is functionally is Oak and Eden. Um, they take bourbon um, and in each bottle will be a little kind of corrugated looking piece of wood and that they call that the spire. Um, and the mash bill varies from, from batch to batch. Um, I think they've got a couple different selections and so does the wood. Uh, so you could have a, a weeded mash bill with a toasted oak, or you could have a, uh, you know, a high rye with a alligator char rye. You know, I don't know what all they have, but I'm just kind of guessing out there. Um, and the, the one thing you'll notice about those bottles, if you pick it up, it's dark as sin because that oak is just sitting in there sloshing around, doing its thing, just letting those tannins out. Um, and the more you drink it, and the more you pour, and the more you slosh it, the more it's gonna do that. So, on a smaller scale, uh, there's this really cool invention. Um, I got a shout out to my sister for, uh, for hooking me up with these uh, last Christmas. They are, let me arrange them thusly, bourbon bullets. Um, hunks of wood, um, obviously milled down, finished. Uh, this is a toast or a charred oak. This looks like about a number two, number three char in the shape of a bullet. Um, we got also have cherry and maple. How this works, you take your charred oak bourbon bullet, you take your bottle of bourbon that you wanna add some oak flavor through, and you just eat this bad boy down in there. Um, I actually did this with a, uh, I'd filled this decanter up with Evan Williams Bond and Bond, Evan Williams White Label, 100 proof, and if it's a day over four years, it's only that. Um, threw this uh, charred oak bad boy in there, let it chill out for uh, about four days. Um, really picked up a nice rich color. Uh, went from kind of that, you know, that standard kind of hay, straw, caramel to um, more of that dusty golden, like a uh, Knob Creek, Elijah Craig. Um, 
And that's actually what I poured earlier. So I'm gonna take a sip of it and tell you if it tastes like Emily's Bottom and Bomb anymore or not. Mm. And what I can tell you is it does not. I love Emily's Bottom and Bomb. Um, there, there's a reason I have, I keep a handle of it in my house. Absolutely delicious. Just good classic bourbon flavors, but it's young. You taste old dusty corn. Um, and as my palate has become more refined, ha, that's a joke. Um, I do like a little more oak on my bourbon than I used to. So this added just the right amount. This brings it on par with kind of the oakiness you get from let's say, uh, maybe that initial punch of oak from a Knob Creek nine. Um, you got that kind of green apple brightness and then that pepperiness. Um, it really helps tone down some of that sweetness. You still get that young corn because you can't hide that, um, but it does kind of knock down that sweetness a little bit and make it a much smoother drinking product. Um, if I had to compare it to anything, I'd say it tastes probably like a high proof um, Evan Williams 1783, um, which is high praise because I absolutely love that stuff. So. Again, that's the charred oak. I haven't tried the cherry or the maple yet. Um, one of my uh, one of my musings is uh, when I have a decanter free up or, or a bottle open up, I'm gonna take me some Knob Creek Nine Year. I'm gonna throw this maple in there um, and do my version of a Knob Creek maple. See how that turns out. Be on the lookout for that episode coming up. Um, if it's any good, hell, I'll do it. If it's bad, I don't care. Um, so bourbon bullets, uh, I think I looked these up. They're about 20 bucks for the set of three, you know, come with a cool little rustic little burlap bag. You get some instructions as well. You know, it tells you kind of don't leave it in there forever and stuff like that. Cause you don't want to over steep it. So now let's say, you know, uh, you're adding stuff to bourbon. That's not bourbon. You know, bourbon has got to be Asian, new charred oak barrel and that's it. Well, uh, if you're wanting to age your own bourbon or whiskey, look no further than the personalized mini charred oak barrels. You can get these with or without engraving. My darling wife got this engraved, especially for me. Uh, this bad boy holds a liter and a half of uh, the liquor of your choice. Um, it is a charred oak barrel, um, but it's also kiln dried. So there's instructions on kind of how to prep it so that the, the stays seal up nicely and accept your whiskey and don't leak all over your counter. Um, but it's pretty simple after that. You take the, the liquor of your choice. Um, most folks will do a, a white dog, like Buffalo Trace's uh, white dog. You can get uh, in, I think, all three mash bills, um, although we only have one of the three down here. Um, fill this bad boy up, and then, as Ron Pope would say, set it and forget it. Uh, you do want to test it daily. Uh, because it's such a small barrel um, and you are in climate controlled conditions, it will age exponentially faster than um, a, a big ass barrel of White Dog in a Rick House. So test it daily. Um, I think it recommends kind of giving it a little slosh here or there. Uh, once it gets to your desired flavor profile, bob of that shit and drink it. Um, if you use the Buffalo Trace mash bill, then, or the Buffalo Trace White Dog, then you got yourself some, uh, some homegrown uh, E.H. Taylor or Stag or whatever you want to call your concoction, uh, depending on the mash bill that you use. Um, I have yet to do it. It's not for lack of want. I'm just, I don't know why I haven't done it yet. And I'm just one of those people that says, well, I'll do it later. So 2022 is going to be the year of the, the Eric's Barrel Aged uh, concoction. Now, of course, once you run that first batch of White Dog through there, you can no longer age bourbon in this barrel. You're just aging whiskey, so keep that in mind. So, let's say you don't, they don't need any more glasses. They don't need any ice cubes. They don't want to put any shit in their bourbon. They don't have any room for a barrel. Uh, what can you get a whiskey nerd? Uh, you know, somebody who likes trying whiskeys and, you know, nosing and they've got Glen Cairns for days and things like that. Well, funny, you should ask. Do like my darling wife did and get, get them a flight board. Um, these range anywhere from like seven bucks for just a, you know, look like an old, you know, elementary school paddle in the principal's office with holes routed out to uh, one that's kind of fancy as this, which is actually a, like a third of a Buffalo Trace barrel head. Uh, routed out with handles, 
even got the char on the back. Um, perfect size for you pop your Glencairns in there, fill them up, set them down. Uh, makes a really great uh, bar addition because it will just kind of set up like that. You, you set it up just kind of the back of your bar. It's a conversation piece. Um, but I will say flight board makes whiskey tastings a hell of a lot easier because uh, you don't have to kind of if, if, if your bar and your tasting area are any distance away, you're not balancing glasses and nobody likes a busted Glen Cairn or anything like that. So, um, again, anywhere from $7 to 50, 60, 75. Um, the mini barrels right at about 50 for just plain bare bones. You can get up closer to a hundred if you add any kind of engraving to it. Um, so yeah, that's my gift list. Um, I, I absolutely love all of this stuff. I wouldn't sit here and talk about it if I didn't. Um, I really enjoy all of this stuff. Uh, thank you to my my wife and my sister uh, for hooking me up with this stuff over the years. Um, and thank you to me for hooking me up with this. That was my <laughs> this my addition to the collection. So uh, I hope this has maybe provided some inspiration if you were stumped on your holiday shopping for that whiskey uh, whiskey lover on your list. Uh, maybe this provides a little inspiration for some stocking stuffers or, uh, you know, a secret Santa gift or, or something like that. Um, cause that's why we're here. Uh, get, get those budget friendly gifts and, uh, and, and, uh, help, help make things easier for you. So thank you for sticking with us. All the social media information will be following this video. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and follow. We do appreciate it. Uh, and we, uh, wish you a safe and happy holiday season from all of us here at Airstream Whiskey to you out there. And until next time, cheers.